Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to go over a uh, font manager program called Disk Fonts. And uh, right now I can really only tell you about the trial version because that's all I have, but I can tell you I'm looking forward to getting the full version. Uh, I've already got it installed and uh, to get the trial version all you have to do is go to Anastase com if I'm saying his name right Anastase or Anastasi and uh, download the trial version down here at the bottom of his home page that gives you a limited demo now I know it does say for CS5 however I'm in CS6 and it works just fine Uh, the way to install that is, is once you do install it uh, to somewhere on your computer, all you have to do is open up your Adobe Extension Manager. We'll go do that right quick. Alright, then you just go to File install an extension and then wherever you've got yours here I've got mine at disk fonts trial uh, just click on it hit open and then follow the dialog through now at the beginning it will let you know that it's not a verified signer but I don't think there's a problem with that because Adobe offers this plugin on their site okay so let's go into what you can currently do with the trial version uh, now with most trial versions you can't do a lot and this plugin for Adobe is no different uh, what you can do is is you can uh, navigate to the folder here where you have your uninstalled fonts select the folder and let's see what did I do here uh, nothing it's just fine right now uh, I've got uh, it on a folder on my desktop for TTF fonts and that's another thing the trial version will only read TTF fonts if we go back over here to his website you will see that it does have quite a number of uh, supported file types and that's for um, Windows as well as Mac it will cover an unlimited font collection size however what I will tell you is if you have I don't know 10,000 fonts when you initially start up the font manager you're going to have a delay time it's not locking up your program it uh, well it, it is but it isn't what it's doing is, is it's indexing all of those fonts once it gets done you'll have full access and the only time you'll have that wait is if you move from one folder to a next uh, that's why I suggest uh, that uh, you use uh, the favorites side over here it will give you your favorites and you can also um, bookmark your folders what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, it'll take just a second once I click back on my hard drive icon here and as soon as this indexes the, fault, the uh, fonts that are in this folder, it'll come back up. This star right here, just like in Internet Explorer, Firefox, uh, you can bookmark the particular folder that you're looking in right now and access that much easier. Uh, one other thing, uh, another limit to uh, the trial version here is you can only view 10 fonts out of that folder at a time which is uh, again very limited because the idea is hey check it out see part of what it does pick up the full version uh, I do want to mention that the full version of this is only $29 uh, and I think it's well worth it uh, once you get the full version you will be able to preview the font instantly in your document here so if we had some text down here let's go down here quickly and you've got your text here 
what you would be able to do is check a font and then come down here and be able to see it and what you've got. Now it, it, it could be uh, a heading, it could be an entire paragraph and uh, you'd be able to go through it like that. However, in the trial version you cannot do that. So let's go ahead and untick that there. Uh, down here you'd be able to mark uh, if, if you put a check mark in the box here, you can also add it to your favorites from here as well as at the font itself. Uh, here you have uh, the option of installing any fonts that you put a check mark in here. And then after they're installed, when you get done using it, you don't want them installed in your computer because let's face it, the more fonts we have in there, the longer our computer takes to start because our computer has to index those fonts as well. Uh, you can uninstall that font once you are done with it. You do have an option, we'll go ahead and check this uh, number 44 font shadow TTF. Let's go ahead and open it in Windows Explorer. Now when it does that, what it's doing is it's it's gonna highlight the font that you're opening up in the window but however these are all of the fonts that are in that folder that you cannot see in the trial version in the full version I would be able to see all of these here uh, and that right now that's pretty much all that you can do in uh, the trial version that I've found so far is you can add fonts the limited fonts that you can see to a favorites list and uh, view or uh, bookmark the folder that those fonts are in. Uh, one other thing that you can do is you can check out your text here. So uh, right now I have checked this out so what I will do is I will go ahead and type in this is a test and then once I hit enter it will change my fonts up here so I can see what the text I'm wanting to type will look like with that font. And that, again, like I said, that's pretty much the extent of this. I am looking at now getting the full version of this, and just as soon as I do, I will give you guys an update, and we'll go through here, and I'll show you guys how to use this. Until then, guys, thanks for logging on. Leave a comment, uh, or if you've got a question, uh, please post that, and I will get back to you. Until then, you guys have a great one. Bye now.